You are the head of a research and development hub for a space research center in the late 50s. The competition is fierce to get satellites, manned spaceships, and orbital stations launched in space first. Welcome to the space race in Space Explorers. For your mission, you will have to scout out specialists by taking them from either the center or from the top of the deck, or go ahead and recruit them directly from the center or from your hand. To recruit a specialist, your hub must have the matching resources as listed here, either as matching icon tokens and or by having like-minded specialists in that hub to reduce the cost. Each specialist in that specific hub will lower the recruiting cost by the number of skill icons they have, from the bottom of the recruiting cost moving up. Some specialists have two skill icons, lowering the cost by two, whilst others have two different skill icons, but these will only lower the cost by one for the specified hub they are in, and not both. Lastly, when recruiting, you can return a specialist from your hand to the center to gain two research icons, not tokens, of any type for recruiting purposes. Research tokens used for recruiting will be handed over to the player on their left. Specialists can grant you victory points as listed here, but can also provide essential in-game effects which will be listed here. These range from providing resources to in-game effects to end-game scoring. There are a multitude of these as they are all listed here. Careful, however, as covering up a specialist will make them lose their ability besides the end-game scoring ones. So know when it is right to recruit in that branch of your space research center. After having scouted or recruited a specialist, you can complete one project provided you have enough skill icons available in your space center. These are first come first serve and will grant you additional victory points. Then the next player takes their turn. When a player has either recruited 12 specialists or when all projects are completed, players continue the game until the player to the right of the first player finishes their turn so as to have all players take an equal amount of turns. We then go to scoring, add all victory points listed here from specialists and projects and add any end game scoring abilities as listed here and the player with the most points wins. The first thing that pops out from Space Explorers is the wonderful nostalgic art style that is perfectly captured from the 50s or 60s era. That said, because it's so great I would have loved to see more variations of it rather than just different close up angles of the same specialist. I get why they did it, but still, the gamer inside of me wanted to see more of it. You might be overwhelmed with specialist abilities as they're all listed here, but after one playthrough, the graphic design is very well made and you'll know what each specialist does. Now on to gameplay. Space Explorers has been compared to Splendors quite a bit, and as you can see, the similarities are striking but Space Explorers offers that extra plus with the Specialist's ability to give you the dilemma of choosing whether you want to race and get a Specialist for the end game trigger or to complete a project at the detriment of covering up a much needed ability. So whereas Splendor is a full on race, here you need to know which Specialists are more important to recruit and or remove from another player by scouting them out, much like the reserve action in Splendor. So tactical choice and strategic element is really strong in this game. Sometimes though, you will run into some luck problems. The right specialist might never show up in the center for you to recruit him, and that can limit your overall strategy and force you in a different avenue. But the game plays quite quickly and with double-sided project tiles, there is enough replay value to it. Still, I'd love to see an expansion for this to either add more specialists or something more. I keep saying I want more out of this game not because I'm disappointed but because I really did enjoy it and I already think that it needs to step up a level to propel it to greatness. As of now, Space Explorers is a good title and scores a 7.5 out of 10.